There's one big good thing happening on this planet, and it's big enough and good enough that it might take at least a modest bite out of both the climate crisis and the authoritarianism crisis, and that's this very rapid spread of renewable energy over the last 36 months or so. About five years ago, we passed a line where it became cheaper to generate power from the sun and the wind, and the wind is just another form of solar power. The sun heats the earth differentially, producing the winds that turn those majestic turbines. Once it was cheaper to do this, once we lived on a planet where the cheapest way to make power was to point a sheet of glass at the sun, then in parts of the world, people began to take full advantage of that. California is using 40% less natural gas to produce electricity than they were two years ago. That may be the most hopeful statistic I've heard in the 40 years of working on this. And the most hopeful piece of political commentary I've heard is that the state that's now outdoing California for solar, wind, and batteries is Texas. You'll recall that a couple of years ago, uh, Texas was having big trouble with blackouts and things. The head of uh, the Energy Reliability Council of Texas, that's what they call their grid regulator, said at the beginning of the summer, this won't be happening anymore. We've got enough solar and enough batteries on this grid now that we think it's entirely stable going forward.